All right, so back to this. Um, yeah, I mean, before I actually talk about this Corda Civ video earlier today, I'm anticipating hope that both of these, uh, or hope and anticipate that both of these, both of the videos will be up. Um, tonight. So in the Civ video, I mentioned briefly that uh, I would be continuing throughout because I had the time. Um, I believe initially in my um, Insurgents Conclusion video, which I gave sort of a rundown for summer because, again, as I also mentioned in the Civ video, I was gone, uh, fulfilled my duty for like the past uh, 60 days, but now I'm done with that. So that's all been said and done. I did that. So now I'm back. And, uh, but back earlier than I anticipated. So that's why, even though in the insurance conclusion view, I said I'm, or I may have said that I'd only be doing Civ. Um, now I believe I have enough time to actually complete True Route. So, is yeah, I have, and I mentioned this in the Civ video as well. So I think August 15th, that's when I leave. So I'll probably have till like August 12th or 13th to record, and I'll be doing doubles. Uh, every day so that'd be true out and then Civ, and at some point i'll finish Civ. so if i'm a bit behind in true out that's when i would catch up so yeah but i mean that's kind of like the um admin side of things just like the background um but yeah but getting back to this um yeah also just for whatever reason i ended up deleting um true route off the computer so i needed to re-download it and replay through all of the pre-mod section but i remembered um what i needed to do so and it helped me also jog my memory um about the mods so yeah i just i don't know that's kind of besides the point but yeah so back to this um um it's been a while so i guess in case more and more true mod true out um it was actually and i learned this i'm not sure if i mentioned it uh when i was doing the pre-mod recordings because also, just to specify, pre-mod is everything before um, this point in the mod when you reach the true mod, which you recognize, or which you'll recognize when you get this title screen. Because before in the pre-mod version, it's a normal uh, title screen, and you have to play through that. And eventually, if you do everything right, which I'm not going to explain it all because I did previous video, like the previous video show the process, you will end up getting to this point, which is what I call the not the pre-mod, but the actual mod itself, or the true mod. But again, that's besides the point. But um, I mentioned this when I was recording the pre-mods uh, videos, but this actually used to be called the Monica route, um, I believe. So, I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory. But again, it's not Monica route in the sense where it's just a Monica mod. It's more so a story-based mod um, Just that just ha involves going... Um, just, that just involves having a Monica route, which you go down in order to you know, save Sayori and the club, basically everyone. Um, that's kind of the synopsis. And then, yeah, like I'm all the pre-mod videos I have, videos I have show everything up until this point. I even went down each pre-mod ending just because, again, I knew I didn't have enough time to complete the mod uh, back during the winter when I started recording this, but now I know I do. So then I just went through all the pre-mod stuff, but now I'm actually going to start doing the actual mod and doing the true mod stuff, I guess, but... Yeah, so besides that, I just want to go through everything real quick. Um, yeah, this looks right, because I wasn't sure if it changed, and it doesn't look like it has since, because I changed this during the pre-mod, but it looks like it hasn't changed now. Um, so, yeah, this is fine. And then load game, this is, I saved this as, because what it does is um, it doesn't immediately cut you to the uh, main menu for the actual mod, or when you transition from the pre-mod to the mod. It just, you get an achievement, um, which, which is true out and out of the beginning of the mod, like the actual mod. And I still, the achievements list still boggled my mind. Cause I mentioned this during the winter recordings that I would have been entirely satisfied with the pre-mod ending. I would have been entirely satisfied with it. And that would have been a better, I would have said that would have been an above average DLC mod. It wouldn't have been the best, but that would have been an above average DLC mod. Definitely just the pre-route alone. And just to kind of put that into perspective, the pre-route isn't the actual mod. It's not the mod. It's just what the artist, or I guess the mod creator, put as the um, 
what would you call it? The a pathway to the mod. So it's literally just not part of the mod. And that in and of itself, I would rate as an above average DDLC mod. So I've graded, and again, this mod's still apparently only a demo. So, you know, we'll see. But, and that's why I originally anticipated, or why I originally played it. Because I was originally going to play Encore, but I was like, oh, I don't have enough time, so I'll play True Out, which is in its demo stages. And, you know, I think I was proven wrong. Or even if this is a demo, this is a fu pretty fucking impressive demo. But, um, yeah, I mean, besides that... Yeah, I feel like like I want to go back into achievements. So yeah, you get this um, achievement and then whenever you go back to the main menu, as opposed to it being just the normal DDLC menu title card, this is what you get. And the only differences actually are besides the logo, um, you get custom star and achievements. And achievements is the biggest thing. I've never seen this out of the mod and I doubt this is included in any other mod. I mean, that's just like like that's just mind-boggling like that's such a high level of like production like i wouldn't even like a i don't know how to mod b even if i did mod it probably be straight trash and c i wouldn't even think of putting something like that in like or just, like even if i were to mod i just wouldn't even think of that like isn't just, that's just that would be like in the back of my mind but the this the mod maker for this, despite it, you know, apparently still being in his demo stages, decided to put this in. So, yeah. And, oh, I remember what I wanted to do because I am basically wasting time right now. But um, also custom start, uh, not doing that. I'm not going to fuck with that. I'm just going to use the typical, or I'm not going to start new game because I have a load save here. I guess, depending on how the endings work, I may end up using new game and custom start, but that'll be, we'll see. That'll be... In the future right and now i'm just gonna play through it but before i do that i remember i wanted to go through the achievements because i basically talked about everything else i wanted to same during when i was doing civ but uh well more now because i had to kind of recollect um the past like everything we've already done with or i've already done with a true route like basically the mod up until this point but yeah, and also I needed to mention what I mentioned during the Civ videos about, like, A, not only this, because I didn't mention this in the Civ video, but just the rest of recording, you know, what happened, future, stuff like that. So, yeah, basically, yeah, besides that, or now, no more wasting time actually getting into it. Before I want, wanted to load from that point, I wanted to look through the achievements, because I feel like that would, just because A, I can, and B, I feel like that would give me a sense of, like, what kind of um direction this mod will take from here on out because again the pre-mod just sole purpose getting to the actual mod now it's like okay um obviously we know everyone's gonna get saved but beyond that we don't really in that we are technically on monica's route as of now again reinforcing the fact that this was originally called the monica route but besides that we don't really know anything but i feel like the achievements would give us a good uh insight into that so let's see um obviously we have true art and we gave the mod custom start not gonna use that uh, Book of Despair, finish Yuri's Ark. So everyone has arcs. Okay, second chance, finish Natsuki's Ark. Inauguration Day, Sayori's Ark, like inaugurate is club president. I don't know, like not president, president, but club president. A whole new world, finish Maka's Ark. Obviously, we're going Maka's first. What will it take? Finish the special day event. Okay, it's Christmas. Finish the Christmas event. Well, well I need to wait till. Does this mod really have like holiday events? There's no way. Like, there's no way. That's not a thing. Christmas Miracle. Finish the 2019 Christmas event. Are you kidding me? What is this? I'm just not going to delete this mod because apparently it's like an ever evolving mod that has like fucking events. Like the Bashful Lady, go on a day with Yuri. Is that similar to, okay, no, a special day event. That's different. Sweet Sweet Love, go on a day with Natsuki. All right, Child Sweetheart, go on a day with Sayori. Monka's Reality, go on a day with Monka. I assume these will be during their arcs. I have no idea what the special day event is, but I assume this will be on each of the characters' arcs. Okay, everyone go on a day with everyone. And that's just, if you get all four of these, you should get this. Some uh, mystery ones. One will end. Get through the play by telling, get through the play by telling Yuri to kill you. Kill you. Okay, so there's a play at some point and... Um, I assume on Yuri's route, and, you know, um, you can die at some point during that. See, Detective, explore all the rooms in Natsuki's house. See, more than just friends. Make Sayori so recall previous life through poetry. Okay, so there's still going to be some of that, um, what would you call it? 
uh, some of that fucking um, Jesus Christ, uh, some of that meta um, aspects to the mod. But called previous life, probably because as of now, Sayori's, or at least at the end of the pre mod when Monica left, she regained, uh, she gained sentience. Um, so the previous life could be bef- prior to that, before Monica left. So, but we don't know exactly the state of the mod now because it's like Monica was brought back and it's supposedly an entire new star. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to spend the rest of my fucking recording days playing this mod just because of how extensive it seems easy mode except monica's help during natsuki's play so are these the same plays is this the same play is it just one play where these both of these happen um yeah because again telling you to cure you and then accepting monica's help a father's redemption make yasuhiro regress past actions and i assume this is natsuki's father um yeah he's bald uh, because I don't know, there's no other person in uh, the actual game like who has a father figure, or who has a prominent father figure in the sense that they have an impact on their uh, life or whatever, or that they have an impact on the story or plot. So I assume that's a Natsuki's, but interesting. It's not one of the normal um, dad Suki sprites. So, what is love? Reunite Natsuki with her mother. Okay, so, and then this Natsuki's mother. And so she is alive, because most mods just take the rock Th- this mod's so fucking interesting i'm literally gonna spend the rest of my recording days finishing this mod this may depending on how this mod pulls it off this may become my favorite mod right i've still got my tier list i've got fucking um new eyes uh new eyes rain clouds behind closed doors still have to play uh through three and four never did that then i think it was salvation and then um salvation and then longer roads made its way up there um, but yeah, so this mods, that's interesting because I remember the mods were fairly interesting, like, or in how they portray Nazi's father. Most of them portray him as a shit bad, right? Or a dead be dad, because that's the point of his character. There were a couple mods that are interesting. One is, well, this mod's interesting because they're making it so that Nazi's mother is alive. So it'll be interesting to see how that impacts uh, her father since she, he has an impact on her, which has a prominent impact on the story and plot. But also, I mentioned this before, um, shoot, which mod was it? I believed it, it was the, um, I need to pull it up. It was another Natsuki mod. Um, it was like a better version of Exit Music is, that's a good way to describe it. Oh, what was the mod? Jesus, um, Summer Hope. Uh, it was interesting because they portrayed Natsuki's dad not as a deadbeat, but more so someone who was like deeply impacted by, um, deeply impacted by the loss of his mother to the point where he he sort of it was sort of what was it called a reaction like the things he did in Nazi were a reaction to her death which ultimately ended up negatively impacting her not out of malice or spite but just out of you know is ignorance the right term I don't know but just out of a miss like sort of a misunderstanding not misunderstanding but yeah just out of you know um yeah just out of like misconception i guess is the good way to put it and then yeah also i remember another um uh, another moment with you was the one of the most recent mods i played that had like multiple routes um the natsuki or natsuki's route the way it portrayed her dad was more so that um he was actually like as opposed to him becoming a deadbeat after the death of his mother he instead just became <laughs> he just like vegetated like he just didn't do anything like, and that was another interesting portrayal to where it's sort of, as opposed to him directly, you know, um, inhibiting Natsuki, like, by his actions, it's his lack of action, his inaction that um, inhibits, inhibited Natsuki. So, but yeah, uh, yeah, this is, it's going to be very interesting. Like, part of, even though, obviously, you know, I'm a Monica fan, right? I feel like that's, like, that should be pretty self-evident at this point like i've had mas over three years but one of my favorite um parts of like story-based mods is if they involve natsuki's dad how they portray that definitely one of the most like more interesting parts of the mod since obviously he's not one of the main characters or he's not like a part of the main cast but he is still a character that has an impact on the story and plot and when they bring him directly into the uh 
uh, light or whatever directly into the um, like story and plots. Interesting to see how they portray it. It's definitely one of my, you know, definitely one of sort of like the most interesting parts of these mods, at least for me. It's definitely one of the like aspects of a mod that like I most look forward to. All right, let's uh, move this. All right. Together once more, bring Nazi's whole family back together. So I assume once you achieve these two, then you achieve this. The truth, learn the truth about the world. So I assume the MC, at some point, this this is clearly referring to the MC gain sentience. It's even his outline. So at some point in the mod, the MC is going to gain sentience, which is never, again, I think the only mod I've played where that has happened was Salvation. I'm not sure there's another mod where the MC himself has gained sentience. Or I may be... Uh, mistaken but that's that's what i'm i'm current that's why i'm currently under the impression or at least all the ones i play of course true see or convince you and bring you along bring you along for what i have no idea what that's referring to true monica help monica stay true to herself so her commitment to save everyone as opposed to reverting back to her old ways uh blossoming friendship make your and Aussie befriend each other see strawberries use strawberries do the impossible i have no idea what the fuck that even means just do it before to select an option okay so this is probably on some sort of bad route um life or death i don't know fastest man alive make a choice that quickly disappears we're really gonna end up doing that bullshit are we playboy write for each girl at least once without going on a date okay it's weird flex i'll have to do this <laughs> this will probably be one of the last ones i'll make um simply because i'm gonna try and get the other ones let's see in our perspective unlock in our perspective on inauguration day so inauguration day is like an event because that was um yeah, that was uh, Sayori's. I remember because that was um, a title for one of these. But yeah, that's Sayori's. So inauguration day. So I assume that's like the last day of Sayori's arc. So there's... God, I'm going to spend the rest of my recording days playing this month. I'm going to need to double up like every day. The Christmas event. There are Christmas events. Are you kidding me? So this is 2019. This is 2020 Christmas event. So, hey, I'll be ready for 2021. <laughs> I don't... This fucking mod, I'm, I need to take a moment. It's already been 17 minutes, I'm wasting my time. But this mod is just... Yeah, definitely, before even going into it, given how I'd be entirely satisfied with the pre-mod um, being its own mod, and given that I would rank the pre-mod as an above average ELC mod and just looking at this achievements list and actually going through it. Cause before I just looked at it and I was blown away, but now going through it, I'm more blown away. Yeah. I mean, I'm just speechless. Let's get into it. All right. So yeah, it's the day of the festival, not inauguration day. That's something else. And you can see the achievement up here and yeah, it's Shane away. I expected to be walking with Sior to the festival today. It said she told me she was already walking with someone else. Monica, we can presume because Monica should be alive. Uh, cause we brought her back. So here I am walking myself once again. So, and again, in case you didn't know, or I mentioned this already that Monica left, we brought her back and that's what leads into the actual mod or that's what leads into the mod itself. So we can assume she's walking with Monica. It wouldn't make sense for her to be walking with anyone else. And if that's the case, then Monica is still present at the club or that she regained her title as presidency. Now it's kind of unclear. I guess we'll know once we, um, get to that point but it's unclear i guess whether or not sayori still retained her sentience when she was the president or if it you know or if she ended up losing that once monica came back so or once we brought monica back it's just it's just it's a little weird i'm just so used to walking with her made a habit to walk to and from school ever since i joined her club still i wonder who she's walking with is it not monica i probably shouldn't look too much into it meanwhile the preparations for the event should be nearly complete the banner Yuri and I paint is dry, and I gently rolled up to take it with me. And again, because that's because um, you have to pick between Yuri and Natsuki in the pre-mod. That was one thing where uh, it seemed to have an impact, I guess, to where, yeah, you had to pick between uh, Yuri and Natsuki. And I doubt it'll have, because here's the thing, all our saves are deleted. So I doubt it'll have an impact um, in the actual mod, but it's just something that's being referenced to here. Because you had the option to go with Monica and Siri, but obviously neither of those worked. So you still had to choose between your and Natsuki. But you sent me a pleasant text to remind me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. I actually want our club to make a good first impression to everyone, so I take the literature club seriously. This is certain someone who's been making me feel that way. Though I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with everyone at the festival. And the person he's referring to is Monica, because again, we're technically on Monica's route. So it was called the Monica route. Freeman, you're the first one here, is what I would say. 
but we're not the first one here. Vermont can walk through any school. So uh, that answers our question. Because he was saying like, oh, I wonder who she's walking with, as if it didn't make sense for it to be Monica. All right, thanks for being here early anyway. It's not a problem, I won't miss a day like this. So you and Monica are placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. Must be the ones she prepared to, that have all the poems we're performing. And yeah, I found a random poem online. I thought everyone would like it submitted. So that's the one I'll be performing. So how'd your little chat go? With what? With Yuri? It's Yuri, isn't that a little? It wasn't anything special. Monica glances at me and lets out an awkward smile. Er, I don't know what they're referring to. Like, I legitimately don't. What little chat? Was it with us in Monica? Because I don't recall, like, at any point, like, after we met with Sayori for the last time, where that actually happened. Besides, we barely enough time to talk with all the festival preparations going on. <laughs> you guys are so cute. I don't, but I don't know what she's did. So are we kind of assuming now that they were, like, that we were on Maka's route all along from the very beginning in this, in the actual mod, like excluding the pre-mod stuff in that the pre-mod lean up to the actual mod. Once everything is reset for the actual mod, are we assuming that during the week that uh, he was on Maka's route and that they were just together, I guess, I guess that's what we're assuming that the, cause the pre-mod leads to the mod, but once the mod resets, it assumes its own continuity where from the very beginning it's, the mod has its own timeline. Like the pre-mod is just not a thing at that point. So how'd you know about that anyway? Cause the only R chat they'd be referring to is the chats that he had with Maka during the pre-mod again, but he hasn't had a chat with Monica since then. And I'm pretty sure he talked with Sayori last during the pre-mod anyway. So I don't know. Well, she is the president. Wait, let's see the fuck am I, am I, why am I so confused? Let's see. So Sayori is the president. Okay. So Sayori's, that's interesting. Cause I was going to ask like, oh, what's, cause obviously during the pre-mod by the end, once Monka left, Sayori gained sentience, but then that raised the question of, okay, what's going to happen regarding that in the actual mod? And it's Sayori's the president. So that implies she has sentience, but as of this point, we don't know who has sentience. It could be Maka, it could be Sayori, it could be both, it could be neither. We just don't know at this point. We just know that Sayori is now the president. Um, and we don't know what their little chat was. It's still weird hearing someone call Sayori president. But Sayori's, oh, so, so that's what inauguration day means. Because Sayori is the president during the actual, um, in the actual mod. Or at least in, in the timeline of the actual mod. But Sayori's been doing a really good job running this club. Everyone seems to get along really well with each other. Even Yuri Natsuki. Okay, so we, two things we learned. One, the um, actual mod, the true mod self, assumes its own timeline continuity after the pre-mod. And during that, during the week leading up to now, or the festival, the MC went Maka's round, got with Maka, and they had some little chat. Because there was there would be no point in the pre-mod where that would be referencing to it, or where that little chat would be or what the, the term little chat would be referencing that, I think. Um, and then second, say where is the president? And then third, again, we don't know sentience. So that's the things we can, um, that's the things that we just have to take note of now. Makes you feel proud to be part of this club under see where's leadership. I won't say that to her face. Oh, why not? You and Yuri get your preparations done? Yeah, no need to worry about it. You made a really great banner. It's part of the decorations. It's going to look great. I'm so excited. This whole thing's going to be great. That's just what I said. I hope Nasi's cupcakes are as delicious as they were on the first day. You should have a little more faith in her. After all, she worked just as hard as you to make this day perfect. We didn't work at all. I didn't mean it like that. I'm just a little anxious today. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Two girls finished placing the booklets. We're finally done. It just struck me how passionate you two really are about this club. And we can assume Monica's vice. Like, I feel like that would make sense. It must really mean a lot to you both. So you and Monica look at each other and grin. Yeah, it really does. Yuri rocks the club. Gives me a friendly nod. I'm here. Welcome, Yuri. I thought you'd be the first to arrive. Well, I mean, like, A, why? Well, I guess we know why. But B, like, expectations can be broken, right? Like, just because, and again, this is just an offhand, like, side comment. But it's something where it's like, you can expect someone first to arrive. Or it, it wouldn't be necessarily, like, someone first to arrive based on, you know, their personality, their character. Like, if someone's, like, consistently on time, you'd expect them to be on time or even early. But if they show up late, that would make more sense where it's like, 
oh, you usually uh, show up on time. Uh, why are you late? Or that, that would seem a bit like accusatory, but more like, oh, uh, wow, you're like five minutes late. You know, that's the most late you've ever been, like in a sarcastic tone or whatever. You're, you look so ready for this. Uh, I didn't expect everyone to be here already. I apologize if I caused any inconvenience. Well, I mean, we're the ones who have the MC is the one who has the material, so it's not an inconvenience. Yuri could have literally showed up right before the fucking festival started, and she would have been good. But not at all. I'm just glad you're here. Besides, so, Sasuke isn't here yet. Oh, that's true. That's a relief. Okay. And yes, Sayori, you're right. I just felt a big change happening today. What? So I have to be prepared for anything. What do you mean? Like, what does this mean? Is this, like, supposed to be foreshadowing something? I can feel it, too. What's going on? I know what you mean. It's like a new beginning. It literally is. Is is okay so i'm not going to assume any sentience at this point at this point as of now i'm assuming zero sentience because sayori is technically the president so that means manka shouldn't have hers but sayori hasn't basically as of now no one's been shown to have theirs so I'm, that's what i'm assuming but they're foreshadowing this but that's probably just a meta reference by the mod itself can't wait to see what it holds me neither I'll start putting up the decorations out if you don't mind. Also, if it hasn't been set already, I'm going to go Monica's route first. I'm assuming, or Monica's arc, technically. Because even besides me just being a Monica fan, like, technically that is a part of the story, right? It's the true route, or the Monica route, as it was once called. And the whole reason we brought her back from the pre-mod in to start the actual mod, so that we could go around and give her a happy ending. Mm. Yeah, the order is Monica, so you're Yuri Natsuki, as per usual. Let's see, you take some box of decorations. So it starts putting them up around the club room. Before long, you start to feel the atmosphere. We create a come to life. Cupcakes coming through. Okay, so she showed up. Suddenly, Natsuki comes in the room carrying two trays of cupcakes. Damn, help her out, guy. Natsuki, you scared me. Aha. Sorry, President. I'm just a little excited. Again, because yours the President. Seems like yours isn't, isn't the only one in a good mood today. What, is that a bad thing? No. It's like what Monica said. New beginning. Anyway, we want to put these down somewhere away from you, too. So you don't start eating them early. You can put them in the cupboard. It's got plain room, and you can see if Sayori or Raymond try to take one. S since when did we get wrapped up in this? Okay, but even then, right? Like, there's more than enough. So why not let some people take some? Right? It's not a bad idea. I might just do that. Hey, I wouldn't take one on a day like this. I would. I know you well enough to know that you're lying. I would take one because so long as we have enough, there's no issue. Okay, maybe I would, but I'm watching you. Okay, Nasi shows a mischievous smile before taking the cupcakes to the cupboard. Despite all Nasi's efforts, it probably won't stop Sayori from grabbing one before the festival starts. We've already taken one. We worked really hard on these pamphlets, you know. Yes, yeah, so you should take a look and see how they turn out. I got one of the pamphlets laid on the desk. It did come out good. Something like this will definitely help people take the call more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. Well, I could do most of the work. I just made it look cute. That's like, here's the thing though, like that makes sense. Like you're utilizing each of yourselves to your strengths. Like, you know, if you know, like, you're not really good at, like, if, let's say, because some people are just wired like that, where they're not good at coming up with something original, but once they have something, they can take it to the next level, right? That's utilizing them, each of them to their own strengths. Uh, it's not true. And some people are good at creating, coming up with something original and creative. So you really do more than you're giving yourself credit for. See, like, flip through the pages. Each member's poems nearly print on its own page. Giving it a cute, almost professional feel. And as Natsuki and Zero's poems were the ones they performed during practice. Zero's poem is also familiar to me, but Monica is one I don't recognize. Why, you wrote a new poem for the festival, Monica? Yes, Rick did a special song. Someone from the club? It just might be. Flip to Monica's poem in the pamphlet. Let's see. Your reality. Every day. Oh, it's just the Your Reality song. Imagine a future where I can be with you and my hands pen that already pulled me and you. The ink flows down to the puddle. The yada yada yada. We know this. Um, yeah, and we know that's. So it's clear what this poem is about. The MC obviously knows it's about him. Granted, it's about us, the player, but also we need to question, okay, is sentience a thing? Because now it isn't about who has sentience, because that's just what I assumed, but it's, is sentience a thing? Because again, we know as soon as the pre-mod lends the mod, you know, the mod itself like assumed its own timeline continuity. So pre-mod just completely gone, thrown out the window. It might as well not exist at this point. So... But again, because Sayori is the president and there hasn't been any direct mention or like uh, sort of direct impl impl implication, not implication, but like some sort of direct uh, implying of sentience that may not exist. So the question is, is sentience a thing as of now? It's about you. You, okay, so, <laughs> never mind. It's directly referring to us. The MC is, wait, what? Sayori and I can be together now. 
What's going on? And for that, I want, okay, what's happening? Is, what? Okay, now I'm confused. I hate how I say shit, and then I immediate like, it's immediately proven wrong, or it's immediately just, like, overruled or overturned. So, that wasn't, was that wasn't the MC speaking. Like, because this is the MC, like, internally monologue but you know he's not like actually saying this and he isn't aware of this like there's no way he is so wait see so what's happening i'm i'm confused now because yeah it's clear who this poem is about it's about you us the player i thought he was referring to himself but no he, he is in fact referring to us let's see seorian i thought the mc was trying i thought he was the i thought this the true mod or true out i thought that the true mod or like the actual mod assume or like the continuity and like timeline assumed he was with monica and i thought that's what their little chat was referring to like something during that continuity or timeline that the actual mod or like the mod self assumed but i don't i have no idea what's happening like sayori and i like okay may have a worth what is happening? Why are we already kicking this off? I shouldn't be assuming shit because I know it's all going to be just completely like proven wrong or like overturned. I want to thank you again. This wouldn't have been possible without you. But this is about that. Something different. I'm not sure I'll put this lightly. It's about Noski and Yuri. Okay, so now they are the uh, top priority. They're like the, um, what was it called? What do you call? Uh, they're fucking, I don't know, public enemy number two. They're both dealing with personal issues. I am well aware. And it's not because of me. I wasn't that horrible. Okay, so she's talking to us. So then who is this? Uh, I can, I'm, here's, okay, so A first, uh, <coughs> Jesus Christ. A, that proves that sentience is a thing and Monica still has it, despite not being president. So now we know that at the very least, Monica has sentience. Then that raises the question of, okay, or the next question is, does Sayori have it? But now I'm just going to assume that this is what Monica's, what? This is the MC because he's speaking in the first person. I don't know. Uh, I guess the MC himself has pseudo sentience where he's aware that there's someone out there. Probably like, he's probably assuming it's like a godlike figure. Like, not even like religion, but just like some figure out there who's like enabled this to happen. So he is, as of now, the MC is pseudo sentience and Monica has actual sentience. Um, but yeah, then that raises the question again. The next question is, does Sayori have sentience, given that she's the president? And I guess Monica's sentience is just inherently a part of her character. Like, that's what makes it special. But um, yeah. But since the club president rule also entails that, does, again, that, like, we'll see, I guess. We'll see. She'll tell an awkward laugh. Um, anyway, as repetence for what I've done, I'd like to help them overcome those issues. I mean, that makes sense, right? You want to keep, as of now, you want to keep the club together, and that includes keeping your club members together. It's the very least I can do. There's just one problem. I don't think I can change the game anymore. But we can, ever since you became the president. Again, so I haven't been able to influence the script at all, but she still maintains her sentience. It's not to say she's a bad person or anything. In fact, she's a lot better than me at it. But I can't help not asking you like I intended to. I'm only the vice president now, so she is the VP. So I don't know why I still remember everything. Because again, her sentence is just a part of her character, right? Maybe it's because I was the president, but we shouldn't dwell on that now. Again, like there's too much like, uh, like sort of like, what would you call it? Like minis, like minuscules or like whatever. There's too many like, uh, what's the term for it? What's the phrase? Um, like minute issues to worry about. Or no, the game will react knowing we're intentionally messing up its events. So now we have to worry about the fucking game dying. Ah, but you made promise, right? And we both know you didn't break your promises. So let's enjoy festival for now. So again, as of now, Monica fully sentient, MC pseudo sentience. After all, you earned it. Monica smells me before putting some posters up around the club room. Now she mentions it. Does that mean I can? S okay, so now the MC is fully sentient. Like he's literally speaking to us as of now. Can you even hear me? Or am I just talking to myself? I didn't make her a promise. And so the MC is just like, so now the <laughs> we confirm the MC is fully sentient since he was because before, what was it? During his fucking conversation with himself, he said like, yeah, you, and then I, I, but he didn't specifically reference it to like us as the player, the one behind everything. I was assuming he more so referenced just um, 
like some sort of you know god-like figure or whatever the one who's like enabling this but now he's specifically saying like he can speak to us in that we are like a specific entity like we are the entity who is like uh controlling this and this is him like reacting and referencing monica like what she said like this him bouncing off of that so now the mc sentient so that raised the question if if here's the thing though if both monica and the mc are sentient i'm gonna assume that seorg doesn't have sentience just because there'd be too much sentience you know for there to be any actual real challenges or like problems to like that would just be yeah like it, it would be yeah like if you have three people who are sentient right then that just you know that just kind of invalidates any problem or challenge because three people of sentient should be able to overcome any issue thrown their way so i'm for now i'm just gonna assume it's just the mc and monica but again we'll see down the line because yeah like say you may have sentience you may get it down the line um i mean yeah but i guess i'm making the assumption that if she does have sentience right that would kind of invalidate any problem or challenge just because three people sentient should be find a way to fix the issue can worry about up in or out later so you're not like busy doing some more preparations i think i heard them talking about bringing in a piano how the fuck are they gonna bring in a whole piano so maybe monk is going to be performing for us how are they going to bring that in in case you're probably best if i don't bother them right now so instead i'll go spend some time with your and that's the one um that we spent time with during the pre-mod but i guess i don't know maybe maybe it has an impact on uh so but again there's no way we can go back and change that so I guess we'll see. Do you need any help pointing up the decorations? Ah, why do you want to help me? And that's not me decline your help or anything. It's, it's a further inquiration. Sorry, I didn't mean to raise my voice. I just like to know, huh? I didn't think you want to spend time with me. Why would I want to spend time with you? I enjoy your time on the weekend. Again, so, so that raised the question. Are like half of the achievements going to be unavailable because we didn't end up going Nazis? Because um, we didn't go spend time with Natsuki during the pre-mod because the thing is we're not going to be able to go back like we would need to fully reset the mod and then go um what would you call it uh Natsuki's we would need to spend time with Natsuki during the weekend just to access the other half of the achievements but I thought you knew I want to spend more time with you I thought I did too your exhales all right if you want to help me then I don't see why not so also is the MC trying to get with Monica or Sayori I have no idea like Sayori said the little chat thing with Monica, he himself said he could get closer to see, or I don't know what's happening at this point. Great, where do you want to put these lights? I point to the lanterns in the box of decorations. They're a mood light I helped with Yuri with on Sunday. Oh, uh, don't worry about that. I'll do it myself. Just <laughs> leave it alone. Take those counts from the box and put them around the room. Okay. Do you have any place in particular for them? No. No, Yuri's a little, Yuri's a little usually a little closed off. But I thought she opened up to me a bit on Sunday. I mean, that was a day ago. Today she's acting more apprehensive than before. And we know of the whole blood situation, right? Yuri, something wrong? I thought we became closer on Sunday, but she never revealed her deeper urges. There's no need to be shy or anything, right? You're finished with the lantern she has in her hand. I thought we became closer as well, but I know what happened between you and... What the fuck happened? Like, the... so you were referring to this little chat, and now there's something that happened between him and Monica that we as the player don't know about. Now, because the actual mod, like, the actual route itself, like, the true mod, true route, whatever, like, the fucking mod itself assumed its own continuity, I assumed that there was some event between him and Monica, like, a little chat, so you refer to that, we just have no idea what it's about, it's just an event that happened that makes everyone else apprehensive, and there was no such event during the pre-mod, I mean, he just, the only thing, like, he spoke with Monica about in private was about Sayori, in the last, um, the last com and that wasn't before the last conversation he had with Sayori. And again, by the end of the pre mod, you know, Sayori gained sentience and urged us, or like, yeah, urged us to end up bring Monica back, start the mod. What do you mean? Nothing happened between us. I don't know what happened either. There's no need to try and make me feel bad. Besides, lying is a good thing between friends. Lying? You're I'm not lying to you. Everyone knows you're what you're. Oh, okay. So this is what that's referring to. But what is the little chat then? And she said, what did she say? Like, what happened? Because they're saying it as if it's a specific thing. I guess this is only evidence for it. And I don't think she got to spend any time with you on the weekend. So there's no reason she would come over on Sunday. She didn't. She, oh, okay. I'm an idiot. So, okay. Jesus. Okay. So let's just turn my theory upside down. 
So the mod is assuming pre-mod continuity, excluding the end or the day of the festival where Monica left to or gained sentience and urged us to um, bring Monica back. So what the mod itself is assuming is that the pre-mod up until the day of the festival and then the mod simply takes over from there. So we were on Monica's route during the pre-mod and we did spend time with Yuri um, on Sunday. But then that was when Monica came over, Yuri left, and then she talked about leaving. So everyone's assuming something happened, but the issue is it was literally just Monica talking to the MC about leaving and what to do with Sayori. And that was what led to the pre-mod end and then the actual mod, which assumed its own continuity from the festival onward. But it's still assuming pre-mod continuity for the week leading up to the festival. So, all right, I understand now because the this was implying as if it was something that happened but now we know it's actually just rumors and then like myths or just like ideas of what happened when we know what actually happened which means i can only assume i think you're overthinking this bit you're she just came over telling me something it wasn't a confession to me or anything like that that was say what i just say about lying but i'm not everyone knows your mom mm. she did is, is she gonna say it though boyfriend so but here's the thing like, hold on, let me say, okay, god damn it. Because, okay, let's load from here, and then let's skip. So, what did he say? Okay, hold on. Because, here's the thing. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's go back here. So, where? what was it? Hold on. Like, I, I know what I'm trying to look for. Okay. When when did he start talking to himself? When did he start fucking talking to himself? Okay, yeah. So, here's the thing. So, yeah, because he says, see, oh my god. He says, see, Ori and I can be together now. But, again... We were on Monica's route previously, and everyone's assuming that's the case. And in fact, the only reason Sayori urged us to bring her back was so that we can fulfill sort of um, our own desires. And that's not necessarily a selfish thing. She was just saying as if, oh, if that was what was intended, that may as well be the case, right? No reason to fight with destiny. But um, yeah, so I don't know what that was about them. Him saying Sayori and I can be together when he is already on Monica's route. And that was the entire, like, sort of reason she was brought back. I guess, I don't know. We'll figure it out later. What? I'm with Sayori. Okay, what is going on? What's happening? I don't know what's happening. What? Okay, so, but, oh, yeah, because this is also assuming in the pre-mod, Sayori confessed the MC and that he returned that confession. So that's what the MC believes. But again, everyone knows, or everyone, what everyone else sees is that he wrote his poems for Monica and that he was technically on her route but again because of the confession between him and Sayori he's assuming otherwise you're just looking visibly upset Monica really isn't my girlfriend so that was like a fucking double like edge not double edge sword that was like a fucking like killing two like what was it what's it called that's like a fucking double jab for Yuri right she she's like in her mind she's thinking oh yeah he's with Monica like there's no way I can go with him he's like oh I'm not with Monica I'm with Sayori so it just shuts her down in both directions. Not only was she wrong, but he's still not available. So I have no idea what she's talking about. Can we just put these decorations up? I'd rather do it quietly, if you don't mind. MC, like, why is he fucking up? Like, I do what Yuri says. Keep quiet putting the rest of the candles around the room. Yeah, no one to shut up. Why would you even say this? Like, why would you say that? He's like, I'm not with her. I'm with she. Like, why would you say that? Like, like, is he, are we really going to be picking up after the MC's mistakes for the rest of this mod? She takes the lanterns and put them up in the room. So that illuminates all the desks. The lights are still on. Try my best to create a good atmosphere with the candles, but it's hard to focus after what she just said. You're a fucking idiot. Like, why, why would you say that? Why would he say him with Sayori? Why would you say that? That's, well, that didn't go well at all. You idiot. Apparently I'm Monica's boyfriend now. You're, you're an idiot. I don't think that's true. Because if anything, you okay now he's referring to us the player we need to fucking sort this out okay like i okay we need to sort this out jesus christ 
I'm going to spend like fucking all my free time thinking about what's actually going on in this month. Like we as the player, but here's the thing. Well, I already have MAS downloaded. So technically I already am. It's on the same computer too. So, but I mean, obviously the player, uh, the fucking uh, player or the MC doesn't know that. Um, he's just assuming just what's going on in this month. And if, if that's the case, right? Because so he now can differentiate between himself and us. So he knows that, oh yeah, he's with Sewer. But the issue is we see everything through the MC. He controls the space. We control the time. If that's probably the best way to put it. Um, so we're more connected than he or even Monica believes. So we have to be on the same page, right? Like it's not us splitting up because we're both together, right? We're in one. If he goes Seori's route, I'm stuck viewing Seori's route, right? Like same vice versa. If uh, he goes Monica's route, he's stuck Monica's route, right? There, this we need to compromise, right? We we have to be on the same page because we're effectively one entity just blimp too, right? We control time, we control space. That's generally how it works, right? Because I can't just fucking like leave his body because my POV is through his body, right? So, I mean, but again, that'll take some story now, but we'll see just how much has happened ever since the weekend. I don't fucking know. Because again, like the pre, or does he not know about the pre-mod? Like during that day of the festival, he doesn't. But even so, I don't fucking know what's happened because there's a lot that is, or I guess it was just things that assumed like assumptions about things that may or may not happen, which didn't happen. But yeah, I mean, like is, so I guess he's, so what he's referring to is, um, and unfortunately I can't explain to him is the pre-mod day of the festival where Sayori gains sentience and then urges to bring Monica back. He wasn't aware of that, but somehow he ended up gaining sentience. So I don't know what's going on. I really don't. I just talked to Monica about this. You should. She looks like she's done helping Sayori. Hi. Is something wrong? What's happened? Huh? What do you mean? But here's the thing. She doesn't know. When did we become... Because he's aware of the pre-mod route up until that day of the festival. During the pre-mod route. Which then the actual route, ta- the route itself takes over. But if he's asking about this, that's just been... Always been the case. But I don't know. Because then that raised the question, how does he have sentience? Become a couple... Um, I'm sorry. I don't intend to offend you or anything, but we're just, that's why I'm like, that's, this hasn't happened. Why is this an assumption? Sounds I've got someone special. Not close to directly. I mean, as if she said that, but it feels as if she's looking straight past me. So are we really just going to fucking divvy this up? Into, Cause like my guys said, no, this isn't going to work out. Like as us as the player, we can only view through the POV of the MC. We also control the time, but we can only view through the POV of him. So we're still like stuck, like in his body, like in a sense, or at least we're we're stuck um, in his place, or I guess. Well, what's what's the good phrase for that? We're stuck in his sort of locate or his sort of uh, what's what's the term for like occupying space? And there's like a good term for it, but I can't think of it. We're stuck in his sort of uh, not location or place. It's more so just on a fundamental level. Stuck in his like plane, like wherever he is, we we're with him. So this like whole divvying up between us and the MC, it's not gonna work out. The player and the MC not gonna work out. And I guess she's talking about you. I know I've been saying this, like, but it's not gonna work out. Is that the is it the army? Other you? Monica, at this point I think we have some idea. I have, but that raises the question: how? How is he gained sentience? Like, cause Monica, like, that's understandable, right? Cause even though she's not the president, that's just sort of a fundamental, like inherent part of her character. But how does the MC have it? I still don't fully get it either. There's someone watching us right now, isn't there? Us? Well, I can't see the MC cause I looked through his POV, but yes, basically. It must be the one you've been talking to, which makes sense now that I think about it. This is an unexpected consequence. I don't fucking know how he got sentience though. Cause like, Mike is talking about like, oh, I need to readjust my plans. This is an unexpected con- consequence. You know, uh, this changes everything. But I still don't fucking know how he gained sentience. You weren't supposed to be able to put the pieces together. I don't know how he did. You're breaking the game too. The game's already fucking broken at this point, dog. I guess the mod made you more aware, huh? I guess that's the, the cop-out explanation. But I guess, so even though, um, what's it called? The pre-mod only or the prima was only assumed up until the uh i guess here's the thing though monica did drop many hints on that uh friday saturday and sunday of the pre-mod so even before the pre-mod festival which again got 
um, ex like scrubbed to where you know the mod itself took place during the day of the festival and beyond, where the pre to where the pre mods only before it excluded the pre mod festival. But again, Monka did drop a lot of hints. So I guess that on top of the mod making him more aware is probably the explanation for that. Which, again, isn't, I don't consider this a bad thing. Like, it's very bold to make the MC sentient. I mean, it's only ever been done, or at least how the mods I played. I've only seen it in Salvation. And that was way at the end when the mod was basically complete. It was over. It was done. Right? But now it's like we're starting off the mod with the MC being sentient. That is very interesting. That's very interesting. I don't know what will happen now. Maybe we'll both forget about everything now that is present. But again, she hasn't appeared to have sentience yet, and they both still remember everything. I don't want to forget. Not after it come. Really? But it's not over yet. What is going on? Either it's a big coincidence that the game is breaking now, or we're on the right track. Let's see, maybe if we, you forget everything that's happening, it will stabilize. It's possible you keep your memories of Sayori in your... What about Natsuki? My memories are important to me too. I don't think I'd be the same without them. Besides, how do we know they can't ruin my memories? They'll fix everything. It takes a long, deep sigh. We don't. But let me ask you this. Do you care more about yourself than you do about Yuri? She posed a really difficult question. I care a lot for Yuri, but still. We're not, whose route are we on? Whose route are we on? Monica's, <laughs> say Yuri's or Yuri's. Whose route are we on? I was, but you should know that if my memories get deleted, we won't be able to solve Yuri and Natsuki's issues. So it isn't worth the risk knowing she'll have the chance at a happy life, just like me. Um, so you heard that conversation, didn't you? What the hell is going on? Yeah, it wasn't on purpose or anything, but it was like an echo in my head. Like I can hear everything that's happening. What is going on? But it's nothing like before. I can turn this new voice off. What is happening? Anyway, that isn't the issue here, is it? I can tell the world's falling apart. Okay, so now Siori has sentience. I think it's because too many people are breaking the game. Why does this have to happen? Just fucking let one person at a time, Jesus. Siori begins to tear up. I just want everyone to be happy. Seeing Sierra like this feels terrible. She just wants the best for her point. I can't do much to help her, except but losing memories really changed me that much. That's how much will I forget. I have to do it, don't I? It's the only way we'll all get our happy endings. Sierra, can you delete my memories so I forget about this other me and whatever Monica's talking? So, okay, he starts off with sentience and that fucking destroys the game. So they just need to get rid of it right off the bat. So I guess we're assuming he doesn't have sentience throughout the... Uh, um, or I guess, so he has sentience for a bit, but then it gets erased because it breaks the game. But why are you doing this? I've known you your entire life, and it's not like you. I guess I'm not the only one that's changed, right? Even if I'm not sure how Monica changed, or who she was before. Is Monica a bad person? I'll never know. This army must have changed her for the better. I mean, I installed the mod. Monica looks way and see, or not sadly. He's the one who has been influencing my decisions, isn't he? Literally not. I just control flow of time. Or I guess I also do the poems. So technically, I have been. Well, you've done good so far. Thank you. I mean, I'm still trying to figure this all out. Take care of everyone. I mean, I will. I mean, I'm going to end up getting all the achievements anyway, so everyone will be taken care of. I trust the three of you to help Natsuki and Yuri. Great. I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this, even if there wasn't our way. Hey, it's okay. It's my decision after all, you dummy. You won't forget everything. Only the memories about the unscripted events now are you. So he'll be just like the normal MC then. I'll do all I can to help them. It's a promise. So... From this point on, once the MC gets his memories erased, we're assuming only Monica and Sayori have sentience. Small Monica. Really, she really is passionate about friends, isn't she? Is that why so she's special to you? Uh, but I can only take long guesses. You can hear this. I can. Goodbye. See ya. I'm ready. Great. Everyone except Monica and I are going to forget almost everything. But here's the thing. Natsuki and Yuri, they're not sentient. So they're not issues. It's just so this does confirm, though, that Monica and Sayori are going to be retaining their sentience. It's going to be like the new beginning. Count on you to help ever make everyone happy for me. I'll do it. So if that person is listening, I hope you know what you're in for. I do. I'll do everything I can to make everyone happy too. I'll double up to make sure I finish this. Two exhales. Okay. And again, I'll probably spend the rest of my recording working on this mod, seeing how much content there potentially is. Here goes. See ya. All right. So let's see what's going on. What the fuck is happening? I don't mind if I mock his face from my vision. I nearly fall on my chair. Sorry. But you dozed off. D damn, they really... Okay, so good, because I would have lost my shit if it reset from day one. Just because, like, okay, what are the new implications of that? Fucking pre-mod, mod up until this point, and then fucking resetting mod. Mm. So it's just continuing on from that point. And, like, the day of the festival. He just doesn't have his memories. Can we still load? Okay, we can. So, but yeah, now would actually be a good time to save. So I'm going to... Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm assuming that there's going to be 
no more sentience changes for a while now. And that is going to be Monica and Sayori, you know, who have sentience from here on out. So that, that shouldn't be a concern. Now we can actually move on to the mod cell. So, and uh, getting all these achievements. So, yeah, now we can focus on getting all the achievements. And also, I just realized, custom starts probably what we use for uh, Natsuki. So, I guess we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, yep, I guess that's it for this one. Uh, see you in the next one.